Daryl Jack Sparrow has a girlfriend named Dan Danielle. That's her name. I call her Danny. Mainly because when I'm out and about, I don't like having a million girls get jealous of me, so I call her Danny, so they all think that she's a boy. Which is probably not good of me, but yeah, whatever. Will Norrington and the very rare occasions that Davy Jones does come out to hang out, they're all fine and cool with it. I'm not really sure what else to say, but Danielle. Well, my parents don't really like her that much. I don't know why. It might be because she doesn't drink enough rum. Now, I try to get her to drink all the bloody time, and she doesn't want to get drunk. She doesn't want to drink. She is what you would call... I forgot that word. Because I'm not that. But it's that word. What's that word? John, you're it. Straight edge? Yeah! <laughs> what he said. Straight edge. I'm not straight edge. She's straight edge. I'm not. I'm not bloody straight edge at all. Um, so she's straight edge, and my mother had a un an unnecessary talk with her. I'm not sure what it was bloody about, but my idea is probably going to be my mother gave her the sex talk, which is probably not something she should have done. Because, hell, they still haven't even given me the sex talk. So... I feel that my mom is sticking her nose where it doesn't belong, and, and Danielle's really upset about it, and all I bloody hear is about how she's home alone, doing nothing all day, in the corner of her room, writing poems. And all I've got to say is if she wasn't my girlfriend, she'd be bloody wonderful for Davy Jones. Who is almost as evil as she, uh, emo as she is. Mainly because Davy Jones has reached the pinnacle of emo. You know, there are people who are like, I'm gonna kill myself, I lost my girlfriend. Davy Jones carves his heart out of his chest and puts it in a treasure chest and buries it and hides it from the world. You don't get any more emo than that. And John Angolia is Canadian. And gay.